Someone went in the unit and took a bunch of stuff. So I don't know if you want to come out. I got pictures and of what the unit was supposed to look like. Somebody went in and took it? Supervisor and the lady that um, comes to cut the locks off when they go to auction and they take the snap photo. Um, that was like last week. So we don't go in the unit. We don't have authorization to do so because it's going to auction and we're waiting on someone to bid on it to come get their item. I don't know what happened. Um, you can file a police report so that way we can at least see if we can get some camera footage. I'm Robert. Hey, gentlemen. Yes, in this video, I had to call the police again. Stuff missing. This time, a big corporation, U-Haul. What I need you guys to do to help spread the word, you guys got to watch the video from beginning to end. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment. That will help the algorithm and spread the video. This just can't keep happening to people. So if you guys can help me out, watch the video from beginning to end. You, you won't believe this. This is how my day went. The auction. On an auction? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I got something I've had before. A guy's here and he said he uh, bought a storage at the auction. But when I'm looking him up in contracts, he's not there. So I'm trying to find out where do I look him up at. Oh, okay. That's why That's I can't find him in here. Right okay. Okay. What I got to do? Okay. I hope you can't say when y'all go home and then I got all this going on and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You here to get into it? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'll pay for it. Yeah. You have 40, 54 is the unit on there. Okay. Got it. Storage unit customer. Okay. Just click that in next. Okay. And then, huh? 50? Okay. Okay. Collect fifty dollars from him. You say? Okay, fifty bucks, honey. I gotta pay for the unit too. Okay, and then uh, what's next after he signs all the reprints? He's gonna pay for the unit. So I just give him that. He's saying he has to pay for something else. He don't, right? Or do he? For the unit part, that's just the. the he said sign these two. He said he got to pay for the unit. The unit I'm supposed to pay is seven. So now I gotta go charge him for the unit. Okay. Yeah, because I know if not, you guys will just call me later and make me pay for it anyways. Because I owe you seven twenty nine for the unit. He's looking because he got to help me through the phone because I've never done this before. It's already should be paid for. Mm -hmm. So when I give him these keys, he should be able to get in and all that. Okay. Um, Is it 40, 54, do it I Okay, I gave him the key then. And whereabouts so I can kind of direct him. 4054. Yep, 4054. Down the ramp and straight ahead, he says. It's inside or outside? It's outside, right? If you need me. No problem. Like I know a lot, so yeah. I can always call. Like I said, I know I, I owe you guys money, but see if he can figure it out. So, all this real quick. Here's the, here's the, so the red tote is not there. All the boxes over here are missing. All these boxes, they're all gone. All right, this is what the unit's supposed to look like, and this is what it looks like. Hey, Ray. What's up? Not much. This is Robert from the auctions. Yeah. I hate to bother you. Real quick, um, I bought a storage unit online at 237 Fountain in Akron. And I opened the unit up, and half of the stuff's missing out of the unit. They didn't even... But the lady here, she didn't even charge me or anything for the unit. <laughs> she said, no, you already paid for it. I'm like, no, I'm not. So she has no clue what the heck she's doing. But long story short, I didn't know what to do. So I, I just figured I'd call you real quick. I'm going to go inside and talk to him. But the, the lady here, she has no clue. She's new and there's no manager. And like I said, all this stuff's missing from the pictures. Yeah, you, 
probably going to have to. That's not even my territory. Okay, I didn't know what do you. What should I do in this situation? Just go inside, talk to them, and figure it out. I guess. But, yeah, they, but they haven't charged me yet. So. Well, that's well. Then that's you know half the battle. But um, just let her know that you need to talk to the manager because the content is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I just opened up. I'm like, oh my gosh, this just happened to me at another storage facility. But I figured you guys, U-Haul, never happens. So. No, it's happened before. Okay. Um, sometimes what will happen is the girl putting the stuff in puts the wrong pictures in. Toys, they're all missing. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Yeah, somebody got into it. All right, I just figured it. So I'll go in and talk with her. She has no clue what the hell she's doing. So like I said, she didn't even charge me anything. So I don't feel horrible right now because I haven't got charged. And there's still stuff in here I want, but I just got to figure out. I don't want to get charged later on, so let me, I'll go figure out what they want us to do. Yeah, no. Um, you got to talk to one of them tomorrow or the manager at the location. Yeah, because I don't know if I should empty this stuff out, just leave it. What am I supposed to do, like I said? I would leave it. I know, I just... Because it's not the same in the picture. Because if you take stuff out, then they turn around and say, right. Oh, well, you just took what you wanted and left the rest. Well, yeah, I would take everything out of it. If someone went in the unit and took a bunch of stuff. So I don't think you want to come out. I got pictures and of what the unit was supposed to look like. Somebody went in and took it? Yes. So call the manager guy. And then if you want, you can come out and look at the unit. I got pictures. I about that unit. He said that if somebody went in and took stuff out. Yeah, because they were looking at the unit and took stuff out. So she can come out and verify the pictures. Like I said, I have pictures of what the unit looks like on my phone. Come and look and what do I need to do? Like I said, because I talked to the guy, the regional vice president. He used to be in charge of like a bunch of U-Hauls. His name was Ray. He said, just talk to the manager tomorrow or whatever else. Because I told him I don't know what to do because I said, well, you guys didn't charge me anyways. The other place charged me, but I still want stuff in the unit, but I can't pay how much the whole unit was, so I don't know what to do. But I figured you could come out and you can take a look. I can show you the pictures. You could take pictures or whatever else okay. just to verify it, and then I don't know what to do at this point. He said I would just wait and hear back from you guys, and I said, well, let me go in and talk to you. Because, like, last time I called the cops when this happened to me, I don't want to have to go, oh, that's crap. I'm like, jeez, I just can't believe it. It sucks. I just don't know why they took like all the stuff on the right hand side. I don't, know, I don't know what to do. I forgot to talk to you. Guys. I don't either. I'm I'm new here. I'm, I haven't really I know, that's worked with I told, storages a lot at all. That's what I told the guy. I said, and the girl inside, she's new, so she's never had to deal with this before. I know you guys got cameras everywhere, so you probably how or who went in there? Yeah, they but they don't allow to look at them from what I heard. So whoever have to come in to check. So I just paid this guy drive all the way down here. So happy to have all these toys on myself for the auction. <laughs> Hello. Um, the customer here, he had an auction unit. I gave him the keys and he went out there. He said that somebody been in the unit and took stuff out. And I don't know what to do. Should I go with him take pictures? I don't know. I didn't know. I, I, the last time this happened to me, I just called the police and had them come out and do all this crap. I just he said some. It happened to him before, and the police had to come and all that. But I don't know. I don't know um, what to do. Okay, so this never happened at U-Haul before. I've been buying for fifteen years from U-Haul. She said, "When you bid on the unit, what'd you bid on? Bid on it." I bid eight hundred. How much? I won. I won it for eight hundred ten dollars. Eight ten. But like if she looks at the picture, like that red toad, all the toys on the right hand side, they're all gone. He said, if you look at the picture and it and has the, toys, all the, the toys are gone. And then there's two Louis Vuitton bags, and, and they're Louis, both gone. And Louis Vuitton bags that are gone. But like all the brand new toys are all gone. Uh, so I'm gonna have to reach out. I'm, I might have to call Alicia. Okay, I'm gonna have to reach out to my supervisor. Mm -hmm. uh, He did already, but he was trying to see if I needed to. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Robert Zaba Auctioneer, Extraordinaire, Second Sense Auctions. And guys, you see, it happened again. 
bought a storage unit and come open the door. Awesome, awesome unit. Boom. All the good stuff's missing. Well, a lot of the good stuff's missing. And I know this unit was going to be a big, big home run. And of course, now I'm stuck wasting time, wasting energy. Do I call the police? Do I not call the police? The police even going to care? What are they going to do? I don't know. So I'm waiting for the manager to call me. After I talk to her, then I'll figure out what to do next. But I still want the stuff in the unit. They haven't even charged me for the unit. I don't even know. Everything's falling apart in this place. It's all crazy. And it's a U-Haul, so it's even crazier. So who knows? I thought I hit a home run. Once again, I just got hit by the pitch. Ah! <laughs> all right. So this unit, I paid $810. And as you guys can see, here's the picture of the unit right here. There's Louis Vuitton bags. They're both missing. There was all these brand new toys stacked up, missing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys. There was dolls. There was Hot Wheels. I was showing the guys the pictures. Very excited. All kind of brand new stuff. There's still stuff in here worth money. I'm not sure who took the stuff, why they took the stuff. Was it the tenant? Was it someone that works here? I don't know. And I guess that's why I should call the police to get to the bottom of that, but will they even care? The last two times I called them, it's been such a waste of time. I don't know if I have that much time to waste. So I guess we can look at the unit and see all the stuff that's missing from the storage unit. So here's the unit. And we'll have to go through the picture again. So. Here's the picture. So the table right there, the carpet's right there, that box is right there, that box is right there. This has changed right here. This pink bag wasn't there whatsoever. Looks like it probably was in this tote. This bag here had this bag on top of it. I don't see that bag any longer in the unit. The Hot Wheels was right here. That blue tote looks like it could have been maybe put right there or it could be a different tote. There's the blanket that was right up there. So they threw that over there to get to this stuff here. There's a Louis Vuitton bag right on top of here. A Nike box was on top of here. And then you can see there's another Louis Vuitton bag right over here. You didn't even know there was a dishwasher in the unit. And uh, so the question is, what is this unit worth now? Looking at this unit now, what would I bid on this unit? And I don't know. What do you think? 200 bucks, maybe? Come take a look. She says she's probably talking to me, but she's on the phone. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, because I was really excited about it. I don't blame you. you this is what I do for a living, you know, I buy and sell stuff. Yeah. So, I sell all the stuff, and I went higher than I wanted to, but I was going to buy it. So, now it wasn't good. So, that's what I'm going to ask her. I knew the trampoline was brand new, because it's like straps on it. There's all brand new toys in the too. Wow. I was like, well, the Louis bags, they probably don't have anything in it, but you never know. They have all the brand new toys. Maybe they have brand new Louis yeah. bags or something. And there's an F case for you to big time. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that happened. That's okay.
call you back. I sent her the pictures. I'm not going to tell you that. And she left the keys for you. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Well, most of the places, what they'll do is they put the little tag over too, you know? Mm-hmm. No, you don't so know. You don't know. No, I'm new. Yeah, and work. usually I don't do up front. I, I'm from Florida. I work through all, but I only did um, the cleaning, like housekeeping. I never worked up front. Yeah, a lot of times, like on the store, they'll put like a, the storage companies that they sell online, they give you a little red tag and you put it here. So this way, like, they don't know what went into the unit. Because the only way to do it, you have to put it. Yeah. Well, this is it, this and that. Uh, so anybody can go in without you without knowing. That, yeah. Or if they got the, key. the tenant could have paid before and they had the unit up maybe. And maybe they took the stuff and they moved over. I don't know. I didn't know you could do that. At least now I know. You learn something every day. I just don't know what to do. Like I said, I got my deposit. I got, I don't want to get charged away over here. I don't know. Maybe since you're on the phone with already, they're going to have to work. They're going to have to fix it. I don't care, like I said, either way. I just don't want to. I just, I've been doing this so long. I just want to have to do it. Yes, sir. That's right. right. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Not $800 worth of stuff. So we still don't officially own it yet, right? Or do you? I don't know. I paid a deposit on it. What does that count? Got a deposit down? Yeah. I have a cleaning deposit of 50 bucks. So in the eye of the law, I guess I own it. So there's not a power wheel in there. Well, let's see what's in here. I know. It's just weird. Uh, I mean, the only thing I've seen in here that's worth money is that doll right there to the left. American Girl doll. Old carpeting. Is that old bar? Is that Barbie stuff? And you say this was full of brand new stuff, huh? It's all brand new toys, dude. And obviously, other people saw it as well to pay eight hundred dollars. So what do I do now? Well, they cleared out the good stuff. You're left with. Yeah, I mean, there's no well, once again, I think you you go back and say you're not going to take it. Just go and just say screw it. You know, for the couple of things are in here. Yeah. For the couple of things in here, why mess with it? It's been tampered with. Walk away. Let them deal with it. Done. And then tomorrow we got more stuff to do. Because I just lost all this money. But you'll get it all. You t- you got it. Get it back. I just lost all this money, though. I'd like to recoup some of my losses. But well, then you got to tell her, you know, we'll give a hundred bucks for it, or keep the fifty dollar deposit, and we'll empty it for you. It's not what was in there. That's what you need to do. Yeah. Get on the phone with her and get something, because like they always say, you know, they're in the business of renting the units. They want it empty so they can put someone else in there. So there's a couple things that have value in there. I mean, there's like this tow truck or something later. Yeah. There's all these fireworks. Can't sell those. You can play with them, though. That's, oh, that says trampoline. I guess the only thing worth money is this dial here. The trampoline. The trampoline. This right here, this is like the thing for American Girl dial. Decisions, decisions. You have anything you want to say right now? What's on your mind? I don't know. I guess call the police. Really? I guess. I don't know what else to do. You have reached the Akron Police and Fire Department. If you have a life-threatening emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Otherwise, listen to the following options. If you need a police officer or to make a police report, press 1. If you need arrest, bond, or ticket information, press 2. Wait while I transfer your call. Yes, how are you doing today? I'm fine, how about you? Good, I wasn't sure... Um, 
if I who to call or whatever else. I bought a storage unit online and I went here to the facility and there's all the stuff missing out of it. And um, and I don't know. I talked to the manager. She doesn't know what's going on, but like someone that worked here or something probably took the stuff out of there. But I didn't know if that's something you guys would handle or not. Okay, so the, somebody employed for the business took your stuff out of the out of the, the thing that you purchased and. Uh yeah, and like, care of yeah, well, they do an online auctions. So for these storage facilities, it's the U-Haul over here on 237 Fountain. And they do, like, online auctions for people that didn't pay. So I bought the unit from the online auction. I came to pick up the stuff, and there's all the stuff missing from the unit. And I'm just waiting for the manager to call me back now because the lady here, she has no clue what's going on. But there's a lock yeah, on the yeah, unit. So the, work the, it out. With the, with the online auction, Yeah. I, like, um, yeah, so, I'm, I'm assuming it's like an ad as is, I think. Well, you, yeah, you buy the unit, and they put pictures up line, and when I open the door, there's all this stuff missing from there. So someone removed yeah, items. So someone stole the items out of there, so I just figured that I didn't know who to contact when someone takes the items out of something I purchased. You contact the management, sir. Okay. Wait so, to hear back from her, see if there's something they can work out. Because okay. that's a civil matter. Okay. So, like, if someone broke in your house, that's civil? No, somebody broke into your house. That's, that's okay. criminal. Like, well, then I'm just saying this is like a rental. I, you know, basically after I purchased that's it. That's how they posted it online, and that's how you purchased it. It's like an auction site. Right, but I'm just saying, like the stuff they they put online, and then the stuff's not in there. Okay. Yeah, and well, I own it at the point. If they, if they said that that's the uh, employee stole it, I mean, if, if wouldn't that business be responsible? I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not in charge of the law. That's why I'm calling you guys. You guys know the law better than I do. That's why I don't. I didn't know what to do at this point because, like I said, I just know that. Wait to hear back from the manager. Okay. Okay. I just didn't okay. know. Okay. I appreciate it. All right, sir. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Bye. That's me, Robert. Okay. So, I emailed my supervisor and the lady that um, comes to cut the locks off when they go to auction and they take the snap photo. Um, that was like last week. So we don't go in the units. We don't have authorization to do so because it's going to auction and we're waiting on someone to bid on it to come get their item. I don't know what happened. Um, you can file a police report so that way we can at least see if we can get some camera footage to see if maybe somebody got in there. Or well, could you call the police maybe? Because I called them and they said to talk to the manager and all this other crap. So if you call them, I could be okay. here. I mean, we could talk right now. We can call them and I'll, I'll sit here okay. for now. Because they said, oh, it's a civil matter. Yeah. But if you call, because they said, well, if an employee did everything else, they could call. And I was like, well, I don't know. Let me call them. And then my supervisor's number is on that front door. Her name is Elisa Nider. If you wanted to reach out to her directly to see if there was something we could do. Yeah, I just didn't know what to do right now. I mean, I have a $50 deposit. I can get the deposit back. They never charged me for the unit. Okay. So you could double check that. But I didn't. they didn't take my credit card. Usually I pay when I get here. Okay. And then yeah, because you pay the amount that you pay, you bid on for the unit and the fifty dollar cleaning fee, and you get the fifty dollar cleaning fee back. Right, I'm saying the amount for the unit I didn't pay here. Right, and then yeah, that's when you come when you come in and be like, oh, I got an auction unit. That's when you pay that plus the cleaning deposit. Um, right, but I'm saying that I, I pay the cleaning deposit already. Okay. I just didn't get charged for yeah, the unit, but the online thing charged me. Okay, because I don't know. I just didn't know what to do now with the unit. I guess just leave the unit there and then um, just get my 50 bucks back or what? I don't know. Yeah, we can refund you your 50 bucks to if you don't want the unit anymore. I just didn't know. I can't pay the 800 or something for the unit. That's the yeah. issue. <laughs> yeah, because that's what we would need. The eight. The remaining balance, I think, was like 729 Yeah, 729 plus the $50. Yeah, so, yeah. That unit honestly didn't look worth that much. And I saw the first start bid was ten dollars. I think it could have went for way less than eight hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Well the things were I bid so high because there's all the brand new toys in there. There's so brand new trampoline. If you don't um I guess if you don't want the unit at all, we don't even have to go through a filing police report. Unless if you do want the items out the unit, we can go file a police report just so we can get camera footage if you want to do yeah, that. Yeah, I just like to know what ha I, this is to be honest with you, this just happened me another place and I'm Yeah. It's just keeps happening. I don't know happening. what happened either. The key's been behind our I'd rather find out it. what happened. Where he is, I don't know, but he used to be a regional manager okay. for U-Haul. Because I called him up. He's down to one day a week now with you guys, but okay. he oversees all stuff. So he was telling me, well, you know, go talk to you guys, and then she can call her boss, and then if not, get a hold of the regional or Akron area or whatever. And I'm like, okay. 
I don't have my supervisor supervisor's number. You would have to talk to her about that because that would be her. Yeah, like I said, if you want to call the police, I can wait here. I I got to go to coach's I, meeting, but I I got to move. I got to do for my mom. Um, because I'm technically off work right now. Uh, you got um, stuck at work. Yeah. No, I got to move for my mom. I got to move some stuff for her. Well, I mean, what I can do now is give you the key. Yeah. We can refund you your 50 I get the 50 bucks and then have yeah. her call me tomorrow and see what she wants yeah. to do. Okay. Because, like I said, I just can't pay $810 right. for a unit. That oh, the, yeah. the reason I paid $810, all the stuff's missing. Right. But I'll make sure. Hopefully, I get a message back. And then I have your contact information, so I can always text you with an update. Yeah, like I said, I mean... Like I said, I'd like to get the police report done just for a simple fact to pull the cameras and see what the heck happened. Because yeah. I just don't understand how this keeps happening to me. Mm -hmm. And you pay cash? Mm-hmm. Okay. The 50 is still in the drawer. Like I said, I'd, I never put my credit card to pay for the other part, so. Oh, your drawer. Oh! <laughs> see what happened. So, wait. No, because my drawer not open. Uh -oh. So. Drawer 2. Tamika, so mm -hmm. just go, just get on here and go to sales items. Okay, my bad. police and fire. Yes, how you doing today? Good, can I help you? Yeah, I called earlier and the lady told me to wait to talk to the manager. And I spoke to the manager here at the storage facility. Um, I bought a storage unit and stuff's missing out of the, out of the unit. And... She said, well, that's a civil matter. The lady here, that the manager, she says she can't pull anything from the cameras unless she gets a police report. So I didn't know how to go about getting the police report filed out for she can, I guess, uh, the co company policy, they need a police report to pull stuff off the cameras. Who, who told you this is a civil? Somebody from here did? Yeah, I called her. Uh, it was a lady I spoke to a little bit ago. Somebody broke into your storage unit. Well, I don't know about, this is what happened. I bought the storage unit on an online auction. And I come to pick it up, and the picture, they put pictures online, and the, a lot of the stuff's missing out of the unit. So I come in here to talk to them, and she said, I don't know who would have got into the unit, because we just took pictures last week. So she said, but to pull the cameras, they need to get a police report to pull the stuff on the cameras. So it's a theft of some sort. What's the address? The address here is what, 237 Fountain? Okay. It's 237 Fountain? You call? I'm Robert. Gentlemen. What happened? So I bought an online storage unit. So what they do is they take photos of the unit and they put it online so someone didn't pay their bill. Yeah. So I came here and bought the unit. Go open the door up and a bunch of stuff's missing from the storage for the unit. So I come back here and talk to the lady. She's brand new here. She calls the manager up. The manager comes back here real quick. She said, you know, someone took the photos last week and they had access to it. That's the only people that had access to it. She said it might have been someone here, yeah. but she's not allowed to review any cameras without a police report. Oh, okay. So I said, well, let me call the police up. She said, because she needs that to get to U-Haul corporate. And then they sent us, I guess they have special people to come in and do the cameras because the managers don't have access to the cameras, I guess. That's kind of odd. Okay. I thought so too. But this is what she told me. So I said, well, let me call the police up. So I called you guys to yeah. file the police report. Yeah. A criminal, someone stole the stuff out of a storage unit. Who it was, I'm assuming it had to be someone in here because they had their own lock on there. They gave me the key. I went and unlocked it, and the stuff's missing. Yeah. So I don't know how many people work here, but someone probably here. So hopefully they can get to the bottom of it and obviously get the thief out of here and hopefully right. prosecute it. So I'm the guy in the middle because I just came. I spent 40 minutes driving here. Me and my guy had to send him home. Because, you know, I just lost all this time, energy, yeah. energy, and effort, and I've been sitting here waiting for you guys. So. Yeah, it's nice. We actually just got pulled from another area, too. So we're like, yeah, we'll just, just send it that, send that to us. So. Mm. so I don't know if you want to talk to the lady inside. She's the employee here. Okay. Uh, I don't know what you guys need to do. for a little bit. So what I need uh, from you is some information. Yeah, I'll be my license. Perfect. Yeah. Those ones where, like, the unit was, like, over, passed overdue, like, payment-wise. and Correct. Then it was just left. Like, yeah, so they, what they do is they file the stuff and then put it yeah. up for the auction. Gotcha. And then... You win the auction, then? and I won the auction. I paid eight hundred ten dollars okay. for the unit, mm -hmm. and then I open it. Put that down there to eight hundred ten bucks. I paid eight hundred ten for the unit, and then obviously I opened up. And the reason I bid on the unit, a lot of the stuff's missing. Was there, so was there photos? Yes. In yeah. the auction, and I gave her. I got photos before and after. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I, I got the photos from the actual 
thing. They had the photos too because they're the ones that took them. And then I got the after photos. Yeah. I don't know if I even want them. Are you guys taking open the unit too? You guys can look at sure. We're not too worried about it. Yeah. Just hold on to those photos. I, I got them both photos. And I email or I text the manager here the photo of the unit when I opened it. Okay. Uh, what's a good phone number to reach you and also what unit number? Yeah. What unit number is it? Um, four zero. Let me double check here. I want to give you the wrong number. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's what the unit's supposed to look like here. Mm -hmm. And all this stuff is all missing. All these, see all these boxes of brand new toys? Yeah, yeah. And there's a Louis Vuitton bag That's and a Sagan. Louis Vuitton bag. Both of those are missing. This red tote's missing. This purple tote, this tote. Yeah. All these toys over here that were and in no the one, boxes. no one but you should have had access Correct. after these pictures were yeah. taken. Right. Okay, so anything different from that picture is... Right. Someone went in and took it. And then the unit number is 4054. All right, perfect. Do you have any idea what time frame this would have been taken from? So well, she said she said the photos were taken last week. Last week. And then I come in today. So about what time did you notice that everything was missing? Let me see. I got here around 4, 40, 4 45, and sure. I went and paid for I went and paid for the union, and they came out here and opened the door. So I don't know. I want to say it's like around four, that 5 o'clock, 4, 35 o'clock. Yeah. That works. Yeah. The whole goal was I was trying to get here and load it all up and yeah, then get yeah, back home get for stuff. Well, I got a what you call it? I have a basketball coaches meeting tonight, so I had to send oh, my geez. wife to the meeting. <laughs> she wasn't happy. <laughs> so that's where I'm at right now. No, I'm sorry that this happened to you. No one likes to be. If I'd be pretty pissed too. Well, the thing is, this is what I do for a living. I've been doing this for 15 years. Yeah. This is another. Uh, this happened to me just at another facility, not like two months ago. Seriously. Did you ever uh, figure out who did that? And I called the police on that, and it was in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And. Um, they, they couldn't do much, and they pulled the cameras up, and I guess the, when they took the photo, so it like was past two weeks old, so they don't know. Yeah. And the, the old manager, uh, they hired a new management company, so all the old people were gone, so they're like, everyone's blaming each other. Jesus but this one, it's a U-Haul. This is, that's not mom and pop, so like, I never had this happen at one of these main establishments. Yeah. Okay, so I've been doing it 15 years. I never had it happen at mom and pop places once in a while, but in the last five months, I know like myself, it's happened twice. My one buddy's happened to him twice, mm -hmm. and another guy I know happened to. Uh, was that at different facilities? Yeah, all different facilities. Oh, okay. Yeah, not this place. Yeah, well, it's probably going to even happen here once. Yeah, well, they You all should be reputable. Yeah, and it makes zero sense, though, because they come and take a picture. Why would you steal yeah. the stuff? If you're going to steal stuff, take, take the stuff out, then take a picture. These aren't that smart, usually. Yeah. Maybe give, like, a good estimate. So there's two Louis Vuitton bags. Yeah, there's two Louis Vuitton bags, probably about 20, 20 brand-new toys. Um, there was at least three totes that were missing and some boxes. You know. Got any clue how many boxes? Sorry if you don't. I don't know. I can look at the pictures and figure it out. The security deposit is $50. That's just you should get it back after you clean out the unit. Yeah. Like I said, the unit was $810 plus I paid a 10% on top of that. Okay, so 81 bucks about. Yeah. So the total is almost 900 bucks. Uh, and then, of course, I, you know, I got myself here, and I paid my guy to come and everything else, so I got all this money tied up, and we drove 40-some minutes to get here from the work Well, that's my business located. Well, I think I got everything I need from you. I just want to take a seat in that car, get cool. warm. I'm going to go I'll talk to my partner. Yeah, just see if, how long you need me, and then... Hey, Kayla, how you doing? This is uh, Robert, the guy that bought the storage unit yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I just want to make sure that, because they got to reverse the charge on uh, storageauctions.com or whatever. You got to like let them know okay. about the unit before they can reverse the charge and give me my money back from the credit card. Okay. Yeah, I still haven't heard back from my supervisor after I emailed them, but I'll give them a call when I go into work today. I'm not going to be there for a while. Okay. No problem. Yeah, I just, okay. I'm sorry to bother you. Yeah, I just want to let you know that yeah, just, if you could get that taken care of. Yeah, absolutely. I'll make sure that's handled. All right, thank you. Have a good day. All right, thank you. Bye. So once again, I'm in limbo. I got to follow with the police, follow up with the U-Haul, and I guess I'll be doing a follow-up video, let you guys know what happens. Hopefully they pull the camera stuff. Maybe we'll find somebody. Maybe we'll actually someone might get arrested this time. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for your support. Don't forget, thumbs up. Watch all the videos from getting in, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.